So the guys at Ditec sent me this CarScope eye tester, um, compression tester, and asked me if I could compare it to the PicoScope relative compression test. So a quick overview of what they give you. Um, it's basically a convenient way to compression test a vehicle with re relative compression still. Um, they give you the leads here to connect straight up to the battery, just plug it into the top, run through a few settings on the tester itself and then crank it and it gives you results. The main focus of this thing being uh, convenience, so you also get a adapter to connect it into the OBD port, which is really quite handy. On the top you have two BNC inputs for cylinder identification. However, I had quite an issue trying to get this to work. So first of all, I was using one of these um, just secondary ignition probe, and it turns out that that's not the correct thing that you need to use. What I should have been using is an inductive type pickup. Now, I did have one of these, I do have one of these, and I got this with a Mac multimeter that I bought many years ago. However, it has a multimeter type connection, so you would need a BNC to four millimeter adapter, which I don't have at the minute because I don't have a need for one until now. So what I would have had to do is connect some back probes into the connector here and then use some crocodile clips to connect up to the pins. And then I thought, you know what, that's really going against what this tool's about. It's supposed to be convenience, quickly setting it up and getting some results. So I ditched that idea. Then looking through the manual, it said you could also connect up to an injector with this um, cable that you get with the kit. Um, so I connected up to the injector and um, still had no luck getting cylinder identification. Some of the problems I ran into were with this car, I just couldn't get it to uh, stop running. So pulled the fuel pump relay out and when I cranked it over every now and then it'd still fire up and you know run for a couple of seconds and I just couldn't get it to stop doing that. Um, so in the end, I just disconnected the ignition, ignition coils. Okay, so let's get into it. We're gonna be comparing the results from this Ditex CarScope eye tester against PicoScope voltage relative compression and amp clamp, so current relative compression. Okay, so we did a benchmark test first and these are the results. It was quite hard to film it with the camera I'm using here, so I took a picture of the results and you can see there that we've got 99, 93, 192% and they're all showing green. So this car's running all okay, so we can assume that coming back green, it means everything's all right. However, the guys at Ditex did say that it will assign 100% to whichever cylinder's best. So if you've got a problem across all cylinders then it might bring back a you know a, a, an okay result so it's something to be careful of and that's where your mechanical compression tester is still very relevant today okay so we'll have a look at the results we got there from the pico scope so the blue trace is voltage if we just pull that down to the bottom of the peaks that's where the voltage drops when the compression increases that's what we're looking at so if we just go across to where we leveled out the engine speed while cranking and bring that up, we can see they're all pretty even there. The red trace there is amps, so with the current clamp, and if we just go to the top of the peaks there, we can also see that they're all pretty even. If we zoom in, what we should be able to see... Okay, if we zoom in there, we can actually see that they're not all exactly the same. So the results that we got on the car scope eye tester there match with what we're reading on the Pico scope. So we can see here that we've got a, you know, a lower peak here on relative compression, and also the voltage hasn't quite touched our baseline there, indicating that the compression on that cylinder might be slightly different. And we've got the same here as well. We can see that that one there it hasn't quite reached the two highest peaks and the same on the voltage. So CarScope eye tester there is, is pretty accurate and it's matching up with what we've got on our uh, 
um, Pico scope. Really good case for a four channel scope here. You know, if I had another channel on there, I could tell you which two cylinders that was that are coming back lower. Okay, so what we did then was we pulled cylinder one uh, spark plug out and ran the same test again. We can see there on the car scope eye tester that it really found quite easily that massive drop in compression. Just checking the Pico scope results now then. We can also see there that that's reflected on these results. So on the voltage, we can see that the voltage is dropping with the compression hitting that baseline and then here it's, it's flattened out. So there was no voltage drop when it was trying to compress that cylinder with no, cyl with no plug in it. And the same there for the amp clamp. So we've got our compression peaks coming up there where the current increases with compression. And on the cylinder with no plug in it, we've got a flat spot. So really quite straightforward. So finally then, to put them to the test, you might have seen the videos that I did in the past on voltage compression test and current compression test. If you didn't, make sure you go and check them out. We will put a small compression leak on the engine and see what results we get. So all I've done there is wound the plug out a little bit and we'll run the test and see what comes in. Okay, so running that test again with the loose plug, we can see that on the CarScope eye tester, we have got a lower compression reading on one of the cylinders, but it's not failing the cylinder. So maybe the leak's not big enough. Let's have a look what PicoScope says. So here we are, we'll just move across to where we level out the cranking speed. And looking at the voltage there, the voltage is showing us that they're all pretty much equal. And then on the current reading, it's pretty much the same story. So zooming into those results, we can see that it's still picking up a couple of cylinders that are slightly down, but not enough to say that there's a big issue there. In fact, let's start the engine up and see if it actually causes a misfire because the compression loss might not actually be that bad. And what we need to remember with relative compression is that it's only an indication. It's not a, you know, a proper compression test. As you can see there then we put the ignition lead back on, started up the engine and it's actually running okay. You can hear, if you listen carefully, the popping noise coming up that spark plug tube. So definitely got a compression issue there. However, it's just not enough for either of these tools to pick it up. So verdict on the CarScope eye tester from Ditex. It's really a tool of convenience. Uh, and, it, and it kind of matches what we get on the Pico scope. However, with the Pico scope, you've got to get your laptop out, you've got to get your cables connected. If you want to use the amp clamp, you've got to do that. In fact, you can use the amp clamp with this as well. However, it just goes against, in my eyes, why, why you would get this. If I was on the shop floor, these are the two that I would be using the most. So get inside the car, OBD connector, plug it in and see what we're getting. Great tool.